Kitchen! I'm Jill, and today we're going to talk about lard. When you have Mangalitsa pigs, you get a ton of lard back. They're a lard-type pig, as opposed to if you ever go to a 4-H fair, or most of the standard hogs are lean pigs, or they call them bacon pigs. Mangalitsas have fat. So we've learned how to use fat, a lot of old-fashioned ways. One of them is lardo. You can actually cure their fat. Uh, you can see I put some paprika on it. Lots of salt. This is stable. This sits on my counter. I cut some off, trim off the edges because those have oxidized. And I can use it for cooking, flavoring, it, just a snack. It's really great. But rendered lard is a fabulous tool in the kitchen. You can use it to replace a lot of your butter. That's one of the reasons that they had lard pigs way back in the day was because the lard itself was useful in a lot of the places where we now use butter. We're going to show you one of our tips and tricks to using a lot of lard that makes it really tasty and will help you remember that it's there and using it. All right, seasoned yes. lard. That's what we're making today. Do you want me to pause it? Okay, this first one is going to be a savory lard. For this one, I have just plain back fat lard, or it could be a mix of back fat and leaf lard. Leaf lard comes from around the internal organs. It's a little cleaner, drier. If you're going to use it for baking, which we often do, Rachel does a fabulous job with making cakes and pie crust and cookies from straight lard. I like to mix it half and half, just depends on your taste, but it really stretches your butter out. It's a little less sweet that way, and it works fabulous. For the seasoned, because I'm going to use this in cooking, on vegetables, I put it in a pan to fry eggs, a little bit in the pan to do meats. It doesn't need to be quite as clean, so the back fat lard works fine. So I'm going to put some in my bowl. There is no recipe to this. It's all to taste, because everyone's tastes are individual. So with my very clean hands, I'm going to measure salt, some thyme. Your basic ones, really, if you even just do garlic and chives with salt in lard, it's really good. You can use it on bread or you can use it in your cooking. This is garlic and oil. You can use dried garlic too, that's fine. Um, just for fun, I'm going to add some parsley today. The spices you use can vary depending on what you're going to use it for, what your personal tastes are. This is the kind of thing where you can do it however you like. I'm going to add just a little bit of basil. So this is going to have a lot of different flavors in it. A lot of times what I use is my immersion blender. Today I'm going to use my blender. You can just use your blender, your mixer parts. give it a little taste and see what we've got. And of course, if it sits a little bit, the flavors will incorporate a little more. That's good the way it is. So now we have some lard that I can, I'll keep it in the refrigerator, but I can use it almost anywhere that I would use butter. 
for flavoring things. So that's savory lard. Very simple, very useful. You can spread it on bread, which is really yummy, or you can use it in your cooking. Lots of uses, makes your lard extra useful. Now, another one that we discovered is really good in place of butter on your bread is the sweet lard. So for the sweet lard, I'm going to make a little more because the guys like to put this on their, use it in place of butter on their bread, pancakes, waffles, muffins. I'm going to add just a dash of salt because it helps balance it. And then we use honey. Sometimes we use maple syrup. Either one is really tasty. Just depends on what you have and what you like. So, and again, this is all to taste. There is no recipe for this. I'm going to put cinnamon in this one. You don't have to put any spice in. You could change up the spice. Maybe you like nutmeg or just a touch of cloves. For this one, I used leaf lard. Leaf lard is known to have a little bit lighter flavor and texture, and I'm going to use my beaters that put a little more air into it for this one. There we go. You can see how that whipped up so nice and light. Mangalitsa leaf lard is known for being able to do that. You can whip it up almost like whipped cream. And that will do. Very tasty. So, so there's a couple ways that you can use your lard to make it more usable in your everyday kitchen. You can have your savory lard. You can have your sweet lard. They are all to taste. So just as you make them, taste it, adjust a little bit here and there. Over time, you'll figure out what you like, what spices might serve you better, different applications. It's the fun part of cooking. It's an art as well as a science. So that's lard. Go have some fatty fun.